When you watch MTV, if you came to a live filming, I literally break down every video with Rob. <laughs> we not sleeping together. That's the mistake that most of these dudes make out here. Y'all gonna arm wrestle elephant? Yeah. Why did I miss out on the elephant? Through it. Okay, you're my friend. I wanna stop this before it happens. No, you're gonna, you're gonna, you know what you're gonna do? You're gonna buy the door if it works. How about that? That's the deal. Right, right. I'm not worried about buying the right. door. Right. Cause it's not gonna work. Here we go. This is how easy it is. You just walk right into it. What's good, folks? This is your boy Blogzilla. You're watching the No Judgment Zone. Got my man Stilo with me. You might have yes. seen him on MTV, Ridiculousness, uh, all of Rob's Fantasy Factory, and he's super popping on Twitter and Instagram, and he, a bunch of web series as well. What's good with you, my man? Man, I'm just working, man. Like I'm just working out here in New York. I'm loving it. It's cold as hell, but you know, <laughs> I'm still trying to enjoy myself. But you got the here. nice hoodie. Yeah. To keep you warm, basic man. That's, that's, basic your, that's, map. Yeah. that's your brand. Yeah, launching this brand. You'll see it a lot on uh, Fantasy Factory this season. Uh, you'll see it on all of Ridiculousness season five. So you can expect to see a lot of that. Twenty episodes of Basic Math. But yeah, I'm that's really proud of the brand. We're really moving really fast too. Now a lot of people on Twitter when I when I put out that I was interviewing, they said, "When can they get the brand? When they get their hands on it?" And Everyone asks me that all day. <laughs> we're, we're launching in fall, so everyone okay. can stop. We're gonna do a little, probably a soft launch in spring and just get some printables out there, t-shirts mm -hmm. and, and hoodies. But more than anything, we do button ups and a lot of cutting. So whereas like you've seen a lot of brands from like reality TV and stuff do a lot of t-shirts, we're doing like button ups and real clothing, not That's to. What's up. You know, diss anybody else. That's what's up. What's up? Now, uh, this season, what can we expect this season from Fantasy Factory and Ridiculousness? Well, first, Fantasy Factory, because a lot of crazy skits on there. Yeah, man, it's a lot. Like, whenever you're dealing with Rob and Big and drama, you you never know what you're going to get into throughout the day. Uh, you know, Big Cat had an MMA fight this uh, wow. this year, yeah, which was crazy, yeah. Uh, Rob and Big just put together a movie trailer, what they call it, black and white. That shit was funny. Here, Rob's last funny. name is Black. It just was shooting people. Bang, yeah. bang, bang, bang. Uh, I actually have a sketch comedy show me and Rob are launching. Oh. So uh, we do that actually on the show, and we kind of use that platform to launch a sketch comedy show. So I'm excited about that as well. Cool. Now, we were talking off camera earlier about Michael B. Jordan being in his comfort zone, being out of his comfort zone in this movie, That Awkward Moment, because it's comedy. Did you give him any advice with that being your friend on how to do comedy? Oh, man, yeah. Like, when me and Mike first looked at the script, like, Mike's my best friend, like, and he was like, man, I'm doing this comedy. I was excited for him. I was like, dude, go ahead and murder it. And I, I hear he did a great job. I'm actually going to check it out tonight. But um, I let him know, I was like, man, just try to always add in the element of yourself to the humor, you know, because his, his character in this movie is, is kind of, mm. he's a little bit on the corny side of the guy that's like, he really is in love with his girl where everybody else is kind of the players. And I was like, you know, uh, improv is just being yourself always just generates well on camera, you know what I'm saying? Now, how was the hanging out with him with him being like the new Morris Chestnut? Uh, I, I feel like that was, uh, I don't feel like he's a new Morris <laughs> Chestnut. Uh, I Not think he's one of the new Denzel, if anything. Now, in the movie, they <laughs> refer to Morris Chestnut as like, that, that's how I said that. Like, he's like the new it guy that all the girls go crazy about. Oh, okay, yeah, <laughs> I guess that's a good thing. Then. No, uh, that's my best friend since he was 11 years old, you know, so. I knew him when he was not the new Morris Chestnut. When, yeah. when he didn't couldn't get any girls. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, now we've been friends for a really long time. So just to watch him have his breakout year this year makes me proud. And I'm just like, dude, you're killing it. Yeah. Now, how is it working for MTV and being being on these shows? And like, what what is that experience like for you? Um, it, it's fun. Um, you know, it it came about crazy. Like I never saw to do. Uh, TV in any way, shape, or form. I actually used to work for Atlantic. I did A and R, so I've always been, just been doing music, and uh, I still work in music. I still work on Trey Songz album right now. But Rob, I was in the studio working with Drama, and Rob just came to me one day. and was like, "Dude, you're really, really funny. Would you want to do a show with me?" And I know that sounds extremely easy and, and, and like crazy, but that's the way it, it went down. And uh. It's been a great platform for me to be myself and, and make a lot of things go go really fast for me. So with your hands in so much different stuff, yeah. like, do you ever think I should just focus on one? I'm just going to stay in all these different lanes? Um, I, I definitely try my hardest to stay focused, but not on one. You know, uh, multiple streams of income is a, is a great <laughs> thing to have. Oh, I so you, I just make sure that I'm doing like a lot of different things and I can stay focused. I'm a person that I'm like, I'll sleep when I'm dead. Like I'm at this, I'll get done from filming, go home and take a quick nap. 
and then head up to the studio and stay up to 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. and then wake back up and do it again and film again. What is the studio life like when you're working with different artists? Like, who's your favorite person to work with? Um, Trace. Um, Trace is one of my best friends. He, he's like a really creative person. A lot of people probably don't know that. Like, he's really, really creative. So, um, it's just always like really dope working with him. And I have producers and songwriters signed to me. So, I work with them a lot. I'm really hands on. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, he, he's probably my favorite artist to work with. But I, I've worked with everyone, man. Like, Miguel's a good friend of mine. Um, uh, Chris, Chris Brown's good. So, like, yeah, I work with everybody, man. Cool. Now, we're working with Trey. Uh, is there pressure this album because uh, he came up and he took the top spot I feel yeah. like and then he was he was there and then so many different R&B cats came up Miguel did his thing yeah. yeah Frank Ocean doing his thing Chris doing his thing yeah. a whole bunch of up-and-coming the weekend doing their thing as well and now it's a lot more people in that lane than it was before so was there pressure for him to even outperform them I don't, I don't think there's any pressure I always tell Trey the one thing that he has that a lot of other artists don't have is that there aren't many sex symbols out and like you may have you know you're one artist that you're like man i love his music and it's melodic and this is this but there's not an artist you can go to and say he gives us great music and every girl wants to sleep with him and i think trey gives that so that's one thing that keeps him i think uh, ahead of the game and what he's doing but this album is going to be incredible now people are taking sketch comedy to a whole nother level with the internet videos now mm -hmm. they're doing really really creative things in six seconds and 15 seconds yeah man are you guys incorporating that type of stuff into the show this season? Um, no. I, I'm not in my sketch comedy. I've actually, you know, people have asked me a million times, why are you not on Vine and why are you not on Instagram doing videos? Um, I feel like that's a hustle of his own, man. I've, I've stayed away from it just because I'm trying to really, really hone in what I'm trying to do as far as TV goes and really just hitting them, hitting them hard with these long sketches, so to speak. But, you know, people do really great jobs. At, Making me laugh in six seconds and 15 seconds and salute to anyone that can do that. Now, on the longest stuff, are you writing some of the stuff? I'm writing all of it. All of it. And yeah. It, it, people, it, don't, people don't know, like, number one, we, we always joke about this. Me and Rob joke about this. When you watch MTV, if you came to a live film, and I literally break down every video with Rob. Oh. They just cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens. But, it's, it, no, there's nothing wrong with that. When I have my time and my, my own show, you'll see way more of my sense of humor. So... I've been through a t tremendous heartbreak, um, but I have a new girlfriend now. I rebounded. Yeah. Uh, have you? I, yeah, yeah. I had a girlfriend last week, but we had to break up, so I got a new girlfriend this week. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Her name's Leah. Hey, everybody. Let everyone know who you are. It's your girl, Leah Chai. Ooh. Watch with his girl. <laughs> and she. And she has a question for you. Just have a big question. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna let you pick. Oh, you got questions in the back. Wait, shake it up. That's interesting. Okay. <laughs> Why are you looking over there, though? No, I'm just Nervous. trying to see what you got. Do you want to read it? Or yes, what? I'll read it. Okay, so can you tell tell me a story about a person you regret waking up with? A person I regret waking, waking up, up with? with? See, that's the problem with most of these dudes. I'm not like that. So I don't sleep with all these girls out here. I don't. But you, you got to have No, no, what I'm saying, no, what I'm saying is I don't sleep with them. I, once I bang, you gotta go home. Okay? <laughs> We're not sleeping together. That's the mistake that most of these dudes make out here. But they be like, yeah, you can stay tonight. No, 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 no sweetie. Go. Look, I'm gonna tell you, it's a great thing called Uber uh, that we can press look, from my phone. I'm, I'm gonna pay for it. So you never had one? Um, no, sometimes I regret my girlfriend when I wake up to her. She get on my nerves sometimes. That's about it. That's it, folks. You just got finished watching the No Judgment Zone. Hope you enjoyed it. Join us next week when we arm wrestle elephants. Y'all gonna arm wrestle elephants? Yeah. Why did I miss out on the elephants? We was giving away free puppies before you came, but... Really? Yeah, we, somebody got the last so one. So I feel like everybody had fun except for me. I had a bunch of fun. If you didn't have fun, I'd feel a certain <laughs> way about it. <laughs> it's your boy, Steelo Brim from MTV's Ridiculousness and Fantasy Factory. You are now watching Global Grind TV. I like to find these stories, you know and tell these stories in an entertaining way, you know? Because when I read the script, between your legs, I keep it high, I ah, feel your ass, I see you. <laughs>